Yes, good afternoon. Okay. You know, one of the uh, areas that examiners want to test students is ordering of sentences. We also have ordering of paragraphs, you know, but here one sentence is broken down into parts and they'll ask you to rearrange in a proper way. So obviously that fellow is expecting that students should have knowledge about this particular arrangement, sentence structures. <clears throat> this would be very helpful in this angle also. Once again, <clears throat> you guys observe. I can turn one complex into compound or one complex into simple and vice versa. I can turn compound into simple and complex. You need to have full control over that. <clears throat> okay. And uh, there are certain areas, once again, clauses, phrases, phrases, and parts of speech, words. As I said, <clears throat> every clause has its own place and role to play in a sentence, every phrase, every word. Okay. <clears throat> so, once again, you are actually playing, guys, with this. How to transform a clause into phrase, a phrase into a word. Okay. I'm going to give some exercise. Just repeating whatever we have completed. Now, see you. My friend who is intelligent can solve this problem. <clears throat> so if you can tell me that this is a complex sentence and this complex sentence has one adjective class, you I would say 50% of problem is solved. Okay, and it's a complex sentence. I'm asking you to change this into simple sentence. So a rule you need to remember. Whenever I ask you to change complex into simple, first identify that secondary idea. That secondary idea should be turned into a phrase. It means remove the verb. <clears throat> so all the knowledge, all the skill lies in which phrase is suitable here. That I'll be giving you more practice. I'm just giving you an idea here. My friend with intelligence, I used a prepositional phrase instead of adjective plus, I used prepositional phrase, which acts like an adjective. Can solve this problem. So this is a simple sentence because there is only one verb. I can also turn this into, or you look at this. If I want, I can also turn this into some other way, <clears throat> like this. My intelligent friend can solve this problem. This is also simple sentence, but here I want you to understand this. This is an adjective class. This is prepositional phrase used as an adjective and this is adjective. Okay. Now if I want, I can turn this into compound also. Look at this. <clears throat> My friend is intelligent 
and he can solve this problem okay now in exam you may get to see like this i will do the examination right okay this i cannot cut and paste i'll show you straight away okay now i'll show you straight away how okay Uh, see uh, sentence ordering sentence ordering check it out look at the first one let me give the directions here in the following item some parts of the sentence have been jumbled up you are required to rearrange these parts which are labeled p q r and s to produce the correct sentence choose the proper sequence and mark in your answer blah 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 Okay, this is one of the ways your your placement exams are going to be. You know, intention of the exam is do these students know how to frame sentence? Okay, so look at this. Freedom implies not only emancipation from maybe from here onwards, equal distribution of wealth, but also political bondage. Okay. P Q R S. This is R. Okay, leave this one. There is some unnecessary jumbled up from choices. We'll try some more. Okay. Look at this one, guys. Third one. You supposed to give me the right order. Obviously, that fellow. Has broken this into clauses and phrases, something like that. Okay, so you need to put them in a proper order. Is someone giving me answer? The the, the sentence should start with the police officer because that is not underlined. The police officer. Hmm? Okay, then. <clears throat> As an experienced person, I also focus. Look at this. Oh, who were caught red-handed? It means this is a complete class. Okay, this is a complete class <clears throat> on the pickpockets. Okay, so this is again one phrase, preposition phrase. To put the handcuffs, to put the handcuffs is one infinitive phrase. <clears throat> Ask the constables. So this is again a predicate. So the police officer, I'll, I'll try different ways. Ask the constables what? To put the handcuffs on the pickpockets who were caught. This is one adjective class. It should be placed right side of the word it talks about. If I put the police officer who were caught red handed, no, no, no. Okay, pickpockets. So what is the answer? Yes. <clears throat> Police are asked the constables. Yes. R, Q, and P. So answer is T. So this is it. So to do this one, obviously, you need to have a control over what is this class and what are the phrases and single words and where I can actually put that. Okay. For that, you know. I want to introduce some other techniques here. Check it out. Uh, <clears throat> yes, see, here. we were talking about this. Let me complete this. It was only done partially. Your target is to change I mean, re reduction, reduce it, make it as short as possible. Okay.
this we are done this okay <clears throat> Yes, and once again, guys, I'm introducing phrases. You have a noun phrase, prepositional phrase, and remember, present participial phrase. Nothing but V1 plus ink form, V1 plus ink form used as an adjective, verbal adjective. And you can also use V3 as an adjective, okay? Anyway, let me complete some, you'll get the rhythm. <clears throat> it is a tedious job, which requires much patience. And he has given one instruction here. He is asking you to change this sentence uh, by using present participle phrase, instead of this. Instead of, same idea, instead of this, you now the moment I see present participial, Phrase means V1 plus ING form, V1 plus ING form uh, with plus some object, whatever, tails. That's optional. Then I'll see. How do I do this? Fo focus on the verb. What is that? Requiring much patience. It's very simple. Now read the sentence. It is, it is a tedious job requiring much patience. And this is a complex sentence and this is a simple sentence. And what is that technically I have done? I turned one adjective class into this part, you know, present participle phrase, the way he has given. And what is present participle phrase? V1 plus in form plus whatever that information added to that. Fine. <clears throat> Next. The union published a full page advertisement which stated their viewpoint on the strike. Again, he's asking us to change this class into phrase. Which phrase? Present participle phrase. Okay. So the moment I, I, I understand present participle means ing form of the verb. Okay. Simply, it's very simple. I just have to remove this and turn this into v1 plus ing. Stating, okay, look at this, it becomes the union published a full page advertisement stating their viewpoint on the strike. So this is simple sentence, this is complex sentence, both are grammatically correct. Okay, but you should know this skill. It helps you in writing your sentences properly and uh, you know, with the using variety of sentences. So I talk about later when to use this, simple when to use this. What is the difference? First understand the skill. Next, every nail, every nail that was used in the old fort was made by hand. Okay, now what is Past participle, V3 form of the verb can also be used as an adjective. Okay, now see how I'm going to do this one. Every nail, every nail that was used in the old fort, this is the adjective class, that is adjective class. And I'm supposed to change this into one phrase. And he has given the target also. He said, don't use any other phrase. And you only use past participle. That's a target he has given. It's very simple. <clears throat> Sorry. There was every nail. Yeah. I made a mistake. This is the sentence. I don't want a conjunction and I don't want verb. Now read this and please understand this is V3 form. Okay, so 
without anything. So it means this is not a verb. Left side, I don't have any B form. That is the reason this is not a verb. Every nail used in the old fort was made by hand. So from here to here is what the fellow said, part, past participle phrase. Okay. If it is a present participle, it becomes using. If it is a past participle, V3 form of the form. Remember this. Next. <coughs> so, again, that fellow has asked us to give past participle phrase here. And you know, where is the verb? Were advertised. 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 So, V3 form is only advertised. So, how would I do that? Most of the articles that were advertised in the paper were sold out. So, simply I remove this B form and conjunction and becomes past participle phrase and total sentence becomes a simple sentence. Most of the articles advertised in the paper were sold out. Okay. Then Frank had little money that he could spend on entertainment. So, he has given, you know, you can turn this into simple sentence by reducing this class into phrase. Which phrase? So as with the practice, guys, you can decide on yourself. And this fellow has given some instruction. He's asking us to change this into infinitive phrase. The moment you uh, see this infinitive phrase, you need to understand this is 2 plus V1. 2 plus V1. That is what infinitive phrase. Plus some object. Frank had little money. Can someone tell me, guys? I'll be happy how to change that he could spend on entertainment into infinitive phrase. Anyone? Frank had little money to spend on en entertainment. That's it. To, very good. Spend on entertainment. Very good. Now, can you tell me what is the uh, difference between this sentence and this sentence grammatically? What type of sentence is the given one and what is the sentence you try to change here? This is complex because this is one secondary idea. And what about this? Frank had little money to spend on entertainment. It's a simple sentence because there is only one verb. Fine. This, these are the techniques. Sometimes I can turn this into present participle, sometimes into past participle with the form of the. Sometimes I can turn this class into infinitive. Okay, second. Now look at this. We called a meeting so that we could elect officers. He's asking us to ch you know, change this into infinitive. Same. We called a meeting. Hmm. Give me the answer. To elect the officers. That's it. Very good. To elect the officers. So it becomes a simple sentence. What you're learning is how to deal with classes, how to deal with phrases, how to change classes into phrases. These are all the building blocks of sentences. Yeah. Now, you guys tell me what is the one uh, rule of a thumb, like, you know, blind rule. In writing, this is basically for writing. When you're writing something, if either a class or a phrase says exactly the same thing, what should you use? Should you use class or phrase? Or try and use always phrase. You know why? As I told you, the shorter, the sweetest. So English guys always believes in brevity. Brevity means short, brief, short. Okay, where you can use phrase, don't use class. Where you can use word, use phrase, minimum. If either a phrase or an adverb says exactly the same thing, use the, should I use the adverb or a phrase in a sentence? Adverb, because it's a single word. That is what rule of thumb. Okay. Next. <clears throat> Please uh, look at this. We play the game in a different way. 
prepositional phrase used as an adverb phrase, isn't it? We play the game how. This is the answer for how. I have a group of words which is answering how. And we play the game differently. This is a single word which is answered for how. So what is the question you ask? When we reduce the prepositional phrase, four words, in sentence A to the adverb different in sentence B, okay, do we change the meaning in any way, yes or no? You should answer me. <clears throat> do you think the meaning is changed from A to B? No, sir. No, that's it. You are right. In the previous lesson, we reduced clauses to phrases built on present and past participles, zerends and infinitives. These word groups are simpler than clauses because they do not contain, he's asking do or do not, do not contain subjects and predicates. It means S and V. Subject and predicate is nothing but that part, you know, do, phrases do not have verbs or when remember that. Here is an adjective clause that can be reduced to something even simpler, a prepositional phrase. Okay, now see. Let's give an example. The apples that were in the window look larger. So this is one adjective clause. The whole group of words, you know, used like a single adjective. So he says, you can turn this whole stuff into a preposition phrase, reduce, reduction. So simply remove this, that word. This is connection, con conjunction, and this is a verb. Simply in the window. The apples in the window look larger. By reducing the adjective class to a preposition phrase, we eliminate how many words? Two words. In this sentence, not the whole, but generally. Okay, next. Sometimes you can do even better by reducing the adjective class to a single adjective. Yes. The plane carries a raft that is made of rubber. So that is made of rubber is one adjective class. Instead of writing all that stuff, I can simply say the plane carries a rubber raft. Fine. Does the five word adjective Adjective class, that is one, two, three, four, okay. Say any more than a one word adjective rubber? No, same thing. Only thing is number of words, okay. This is not a good book for people who are nervous. This is not a good book for people who are nervous. Substitute a single adjective for the adjective class. Can you give me a single word so that the whole uh, three word use here meaning comes in this blank? What is the word nervous. I need to put here? Ma? Nervous, sir. Very good. That's it. Nervous. Next. <clears throat> Often the single adjective to which we reduce an adjective clause is a present or past participle. So he says most of the adjective clauses can be turned into phrase by using present or past participle. Okay? V1 plus inform or V3. Generally. Okay, milk is a necessity for any child that is growing. Okay, this is one adjective class. How can you turn this into phrase? This is given. Milk is a necessity for any growing child. Simply, I used this growing, the V1 plus ING form, you know, is an, as I said, in form of the verb used as an adjective. In the second sentence, this one, the adjective class has been reduced to a present or past, uh, past participle. If ing form is there, you call it as present participle. present participle. If v3 form is there, what is v3 form of bro? What is v3 form of grow, guys? Grow, grew. What is the third form? Grow. Suppose if I put this, milk is a necessity for any grown child. You know, grammatically correct, but this meaning is different from this meaning. Okay, what is the difference? Suppose both I'll give you like this. 
both are grammatically correct with a difference in the meaning. Okay. Look at this. Milk is a necessity for any growing child. Milk is a necessity for any grown child. Grammatically correct with difference in the meaning. Can you tell me what is the difference in the meaning? Anyone want to try? Okay, I'll tell you. Any growing child means he is still in the process of growing. Grown child means now it's, he has uh, he's done that. Now he is no more growing. That is the meaning of that. So that is the difference between this meaning wise, but I can use present and past participle. Depends on the meaning I want to convey. Now, next. Nothing disgusts me more than a child that has been spoiled. Okay. So obviously... Nothing disgusts me more than a spoiled child. So V3 form here. Here V3 form. I used V3 form. Okay. In the second adjective class, we reduced to a past participle, which is used as an adjective. Any adjective class that identifies someone or something can be reduced to an a positive phrase. A positive phrase means, guys, I'll tell you, I'll show you one example. Look at this. My uh, cousin, who is a doctor, can treat treat you. Okay, my cousin, who is a doctor, can treat you. This is one adjective class. I am trying to reduce this. Now, he says another technique to reduce this class into phrase is a positive. A positive means like this. I remove this. Okay. Sometimes a hyphen. Or I don't need sometimes comma. Okay. Look at this. My cousin, a doctor, can treat you. Instead of saying who is a doctor, I simply say, my cousin, a doctor, my friend, an intelligent boy, can do this. Something like this is what. See here. Corn, which was our main crop, not crap, that is crop, did poorly that year. Corn did poorly that year. See, this is actually primary sentence. Which was our main crop is adjective class. I can turn this into phrase. Simply removing which and verb. Con, our main crop did poorly this, that year. This reduction eliminates two useless words, which and verse. Next. The next event, which was a tug of war, was won by the freshman. This is one adjective class. How can I simply remove these two? Right in the opposite. Okay. The next event. A tug of war was won by the freshman. Simply a tug of war. Do you remember that a zerend is a noun form by adding ing form to a verb? And the zerend can be used in any way that is a noun is used. If you remember, I repeat. Okay. Uh, swimming. Is his his hobby okay? I used what ing form of the verb as a subject. It means it's verbal noun. Zerend is nothing but verbal noun. Okay, I can also use like an object. He likes swimming. Okay, he likes what swimming. What is his hobby? What? What? I in the form of the verb used as a noun. Okay. Look at this. Wherever I can use a noun, once again I want to give. I can use noun in a subject position. I can use noun in object position. And once again, if I say object, it can be verbs object. Verbs object. It can be prepositional positions object so many positions of object 
prepositions object it can be zerend's object it can be infinitives okay infinitives infinitives object it can be participle participial object object can be this now look at this the women raised money by selling books by selling books is one actually is prepositional phrase because it started from the preposition ending at this but the object of preposition is verbal noun this is a phrase again zerend we call it a zerendel phrase okay that what is saying yeah here the zerend phrase selling books is the object of the preposition your answer is by okay next an adverb class can often be reduced to a prepositional phrase with a zerend phrase as the object of the preposition okay if there is one adjective class okay sorry adverb class i can turn this into phrase by making prepositional look at this because we took a shortcut we saved 5 miles how can i change this into phrase simply i have to choose one preposition and add one object that can be ing form of the word by taking a shortcut we saved 5 miles okay now zerend phrase is the object of the preposition by this is the zerend phrase of the by same when we saw his final grade ron leaped with joy complete the following sentence by supplying a zerend phrase as object of the preposition on it means after on no v1 plus ing form can you give me answer guys here on dash hmm on seeing his final grade very good on seeing his final grade very good ron leaped with joy so this is another technique to change one complex into simple okay and this is called zerendel phrase which is object of on you can often frighten away wild animals if you hit two stones together supply a zerend phrase as object of the preposition by so he is giving some hints here. you can often frighten away wild animals i ing form don't get confused with ing form used as verb oh, sorry what used as a, an adjective that is a used as a noun zerend and participle okay little advanced okay then uh, how do i do that uh, by by hitting two stones together two stones together that is the point here before i joined the club i attended several meetings Like a zerend phrase as object of preposition before, before joining the club. I attended several meetings. Here is an adjective class two that can be reduced in the same way. Okay, we have a plan that would improve the bus service. So this is one. adjective class supplies there and is object of preposition for we have a plan for hmm plan for ing form of the verb improving the 
plus service. That is the way. Mm. The French class has a new tape recorder on which they listen to their pronunciation. Change the adjective class to a preposition phrase with a zerend. Anyone? That is the thing for listening their pronunciation. Next. Okay, this, this is for you. You guys, give me the answer. A prepositional phrase can sometimes be replaced by a single adjective or adverb. First, find out where is the prepositional phrase in the given sentence. This is the thing. Now, asking you to simply give a single word. The cashier looked at the check. What is the word? Suspiciously. And what part of speech is suspiciously? Ad Hmm. Adverb. 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 It was L1. Yes. Got it. You can buy a film at the store on the corner. Okay. Substitute an adjective for the italicized preposition phrase. Okay. Instead of on the corner, what word you put here? You can buy a film at the at the corner store. Instead of on the store on the corner, nothing but corner store. Okay. In this and the following frames, reduce each italicized word group to the construction indicated in a parenthesis. So this is the document. Participle phrase is what I need to do here. The moment I see participle play, I understand this is V1 pressing form. The author who wrote this story knows a lot about sports. He's asking to participate. Right? He did not mention present or past. Okay. Tell me guys, how would you change this? The author who wrote this story knows a lot about sports. Participle phrase. Okay, I'll give you one more hint. Use past participle phrase. It means hmm. the author should have no present is better. Past means written. Okay, present will be better. The author writing this story knows a lot about sports. The employee must state the reason why he was absent, asking us to change this into prepositional phrase. You have to choose the preposition and uh, you add the object to that. The employee must state the reason why he was absent. Can you give me that? The employee must state the reason for his absence. The article offers many suggestions that are practical. Asking us to change this whole three group, I mean three word group, into a single word. The article offers many practical suggestions. Okay. Leave it. People who are irritable do not make good clerks. People who are Irritable. Now, what kind of single word I can replace for these three words? 
what kind of people do not make good clerks? These toys were made of materials which had been discarded. Okay. These toys were made of materials which had been discarded past participle. It means single word. These toys were made of discarded materials. I was kept awake by the faucet that was dripping, asking us to change this into one simple present participle. I was kept awake by the by the dripping faucet. Dr. Rosalind Yalo, who was the winner of the Nobel Prize of Medicine, is a renowned physicist, asking us to change this into a positive phrase. So, so what should I do? I remove this two words. Dr. Rosalind Yalo, who is he? The winner of the Nobel for medicine, I need to put that up. So, Dr. Rosalind Hello, the winner of the Nobel Prize for Medicine is a renowned physicist. Okay. Steve's General Store, which is the only store in the village, sells everything from lollipops to washing machines, is asking us to use a positive phrase. So, this is the Okay. Uh, this is what my class. How can I change this into phrase? Simply remove this too, which is you should remove. So you take this and copy paste. Steve Gen Steve's general store, the only store in the village, sells everything from lollipops to washing machines. Then we are learning how to reduce a sentence complex into simple and simpler into further. After he had saved all this money, after he had saved all this money, Jones lost it. Prepositional phrase, okay, with zerent, okay. After losing. After losing his, I don't know what is it? After he had saved all the money. Okay, sorry. After saving all the money, Jones lost it. Next. If you make notes of important facts, you will make reviewing easier. Asking us to proportion the result. Okay. By LB has given that by. So what is Zeran means? ING form of the verb. By making notes of important facts. You will make Next, there seemed to be no way in which you we could reduce our expenses. There seemed to be no way in which we could reduce our expenses. Okay, what is that he's asking you to do that? Proportion to zero. No way, there seemed to be no way in which there seemed to be no way. In Expenses. Unfortunately, the family has never been fully responsible in financial matters, asking us to give only one at work. Unfortunately, the family has never been fully responsible. So in, in financial matters, 
I can turn this into finance. Some children have unusual talent in music. Okay, so in music, I want uh, this fellow is asking to change this into one single word adjective. So remember, I should know how to change this noun into adjective. Simply unusual musical talent. Okay, Mr. Hollis listens in a patient way to all complaints. Only one adverb. Instead of in a patient way, patiently, patiently. Next, remember not to leave things such as mops and pails on the stairs to the basement. Remember not to leave things such as mops and pails on the stairs to the basement. Okay, instead of to the basement, is asking us to use a single word which is used as an adjective. So, basement stairs. Fine. Read this. There are curtains in the kitchen. They need washing. Two sentences. The curtains that are in the kitchen need washing. Complex sentence because one secondary area is there. This is compound because two separate sentences, of course, they are not linked. And the second one is complex because from here to here is secondary idea. The curtain need washing is primary. Next, see the curtains hanging in the kitchen need washing. Okay. This is a simple sentence, but here they use one participial phrase. The curtains in the kitchen need washing. This is also a simple sentence, but the phrase they used is prepositional. The kitchen curtains need washing. Kitchen here itself used as an adjective. Which sentence states the idea in the fewest words? Which sentence states the idea in the fewest word? Obviously, E. There, okay, this sentence illustrates the process of reduction. Okay. Guys, learn how to change, I mean to reduce. Purpose, we'll see later. Okay, so my main intention behind this practice is to uh, make you familiar with these phrases more. Right, so this will definitely help you in exercise like this. Now it's your turn. Okay, you're going to give me the right order. Jumbled. Yep. This one is not underlined. P Q P Q R S. Please give me the right order, guys. Waiting for the answer. The moment I see, as soon as, this is one conjunction. After that, I need to have one subject and verb. As soon as, the train arrived, because I have one subject and verb. As soon as the train arrived, even if I put that meaning wise also, as soon as the train arrived, okay? I can stop the point, point uh, part here, but still there is one something at the platform. If I put it, also no problem. As soon as the train arrived at the platform, I got QP. Then I'll go to QP. Mm -hmm. The vendors with their wares rushed towards it perfectly, fits into this and with the uh, Clear meaning. As soon as the train arrived at the platform, the vendors with their wares 
rushed towards it. Okay, fine. Yeah, try this, guys. I would like to listen from you. Ice creams generally have. This is P. This is Q. This is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put it down. Let's try this. Is anyone trying this? Ice creams generally have. So subject I have, verb I have. How? I need one object. What? Ice creams generally have. Oh, their volume, you know, no, a shelf life of six months. Okay, but, but right. Ice creams generally have a shelf life of six months. Okay, but see, another technique for this kind of thing is if you know one part, maybe others automatically fit. Now, luckily, there is only one choice which starts with Q, isn't it? Then I'll see and uh, Follow the order. If it logically fits, I'll go for it. Ice creams generally have a shelf life of six months. But if they are not stored at the right temperature of minus 20 degrees centigrade, their volume decreases significantly. So perfectly fits here. QSR. Yeah, try the sixth one. Okay. When hatred When hatred which hearts are full of silence is the probably the best alternative people dare not vent. Okay. When hatred which mm, I want one this is conjunction, I want one subject verb. When subject verb this can be or this can be. Let me try. When hearts are full of hatred. When hearts are full of hatred, again, which, which again, I need one subject and verb. People dare not win. When hearts are full of hatred, which people dare not vent. Okay. No, 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 no. What is that? Q, P. Q, P. Yes. Q, P. Q, P, yes, yes, D is the answer. The British king, it is said, guys, I'll do one thing, seven and eight, take one minute time, you guys either tell me or type answer, let me see whether you're following me or not. Seven and eight, give me your answer choice.
Okay, okay, I'll do that. The British king, it is said, this I cannot uh, touch. It is said what? It is said, it is said has lost almost every state. Either P or S should come after. The British king, it is said, is no longer an autocrat or has lost almost every vestige of every vestige of, I think PQ should be together. Okay. S or the British king is no longer an autocrat. Indeed. And indeed, as well. yes. This is the answer. S R P Q. Put your address and name above it of the right hand corner in the top. Put your address where at the top of the right hand corner a name above it. PSRQ. Okay. Guys, please someone answer me. Ninth and tenth. Exactly one minute I'll give you. Okay, good guys. Ninth one, okay, ninth one you said B. Ninth one you said B. Let me check the judge. You said who wanted a long date in the case turned on the request of the defense lawyer. I see you. Who is actually looking for a long date in the case? Is it judge or the defense lawyer? Who wants a long date? And uh, who should be who should be there in the chamber? Here and there, it's okay. Okay, let me check. Uh, what is R R turned out the request? Actually, judge turned out the request. Okay, of the defense lawyer who wanted QP on. Okay, QP. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's giving C. C is the answer. Yes, C is the answer. The judge, when he was in the chamber, turned down the request of the defense lawyer who wanted. Right. What about uh, next one? Yeah, 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 see, see. What about 10th one, guys? Who had murdered his neighbor? You know, this is one class, a jet class. Should be placed right side of the uh, noun which it logically talks about. Oh, I need to put some. Who had murdered his neighbor? Who? Either it should be villager or astrologer. If logically, if it is uh, villager, then I'll put this. Villager. Okay, this is like this. Yeah, give me an answer. Uh, 
I think this is easy. Let's give me a villager. Said a a villager went away to a distance town. See, this is okay. After that, you know, can I say a villager went away to a distant town as an astrologer who had murdered his neighbor to settle down? See, astrologer murdered his neighbor or villager murdered his neighbor? Please check that. Yeah, that's the reason, you know, trapped. So, one thing is logically clear, a villager and Q. First one should be Q. That's it. A villager who had murdered his neighbor went away to a distant town because there is only one option which starts with Q. You cannot put who had murdered his neighbor after astrologer. It should be after the villager. Isn't it logical? So, C is the answer. A villager who had murdered his neighbor went away to a distant town to settle down as an astrologer. Okay, guys. So clauses, phrase. If you know this is one piece and this is one uh, infinity, see, you, 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 you play around. So this is one of the skits. Okay. Okay. And see this. Another uh, thing you need to know, guys, is extra. We are dealing with extra information. What I just said modifiers, participles, or modifiers. I mean, they give you extra information. Adjective, adverb. Okay, this present participle, past participle, adjective class, all this stuff. Now, we look at some errors. What kind of errors you can expect? To see this sentence. Why coming into the room the picture was seen by him. Look at this. Wanted a nurse for a Baby aged fifteen. Sometimes, you know, while writing something, we misposition certain phrases, certain words, certain clauses. That gives uh, obviously some horrible errors. Okay, guys, I'll give one more. Playing. Walking, by uh, walking, slightly change it. Running from the school, a dog with him. Let's see here. While coming into the room, the picture was seen by him. You few know that this is one participle or verbal adjective. You know, while is again optional. 
I can also write like this. Coming into the room, the picture was seen. This is one extra information. Then, wanted a nurse for a baby aged 50. Extra information. Running from the school, a dog bit him. Running from the school, extra information. Okay. Now, another one. Being a doctor, he treated the patient. Next. He treated the patient. Being a doctor. Giving different, different, right? He being a doctor treated the patient. Now, please pay attention, guys. If I see this ing form of the verb group used as an adjective, which we call participle, these are rightly positioned. What is the right position of that? It should be because it is used as adjective. Adjectives are always closer to the word it describes. Now, coming into the room is just like any other adjective. And this is placed closer to the picture. So this gives a meaning that picture coming into the room. Now, who should come into the room? Okay, this fellow, whoever it is. Now, I can actually correct this sentence by simply turning this into voice. Look at this. Coming into the room, he saw the picture. Now, what is that I have done here? You should know when to use active voice, passive voice. In this sentence, I use a passive form, which is giving me wrong meaning. That is the reason I turn this. Coming into the room, he saw the picture. Who is coming into the room immediately? He is there. So I understand logically. Okay. Now, look at this. Sometimes it gives you all funny meanings. Wanted a nurse for a baby aged 50. Okay. Wanted a nurse for a baby aged 50. Whose age is 50? I placed after baby. Okay. So, uh, sentence as it is gives a meaning that baby's age is 50. Then what about nurse? Six years. Right. So, your right position of age 50 is after nurse. Okay. This is the correction. Wanted a nurse age 50 for a baby. Next, running from the school, a dog bit him. Okay, see here, running from, a, running from the school is one extra information. It means adjective. Logically, talking about a dog or him. Okay, I'll put like this for your convenience. A student. A dog bit a student. Running from the school, a dog bit a student. So if I read sentence as it is, it gives the meaning that a dog is running from the school. Which school this dog is studying, we don't know. So that is not the logical meaning. So what is the logical meaning? I need to either take this running from the school and put after student like this. I can correct like this. A student, a dog bit the student running from the school. Okay, a dog bit the student running from the school. The position I simply change to this position, that's it, or I can change the voice 
activates the timing from the school running from the school a student was written student was written by a dog so this is okay this is okay okay now please look at these three sentences which i gave you one sentence among these three is not correct which one is that being a doctor he treated the patient he treated the patient being a doctor he being a doctor treated the patient tell me guys which one is not giving the proper meaning two three Which one is not correct? You said third one. Let me check. Being a doctor, who is a doctor? He. No problem. I got another answer from your side. Uh, this is correct. He treated the patient being a doctor. Illogical. He being a doctor treated the patient. He, so point I'm trying to say is, you know, logically, being a doctor is referring to he. I can put left side of he or right side of he. That is okay. But if I put after patient, the whole meaning is changed. So this is the only problem you can actually see in spotting errors. Uh, what do you call them? Misplaced modifiers. Wrongly positioned. Okay. So this is one type of error. Once you are, you know, earlier what I was trying to tell you is just make you familiar with this kind of uh, units in a sentence. Now I'm talking about error. Only error is this. Okay. Right position. The moment you know this is the grammatical stuff, you can easily make out the error. Next type of error in this modifier means extra information. Look at this. Phrase or class, anything, you know, should be closer to the word which it talks about. Now, next one some adjectives and adverb problems. Single word, you know, adjective adverb problems. Look at this, guys. First, let me give you this adverb. Troublesome adverbs, frequently misused, and examiner's favorite. See, examiners always try and give questions that students generally get confused. Common, you know, commonly misused. Only, just. Nearly, almost, right. Yes, here a little bit of uh, theory. Adjectives plus noun or pronoun. Adjectives give extra information about noun or pronoun. That's it. What about adverbs? Adverbs give extra information about verbs. Or adjectives. Or adverbs. Now look at this. Mm. 
he ran quickly quickly is adverb because it is giving extra information about verb so quickly is adverb okay he is good now good is giving extra information about he that is the reason this is adjective it's okay now look at this he is very good now he is subjunctive pronoun is is verb good is adjective but what about very very is giving extra information about good that is the reason very is also here an adverb adverb can talk about adjective okay now look at this one he ran quickly and you know quickly is adverb because it is giving extra information about ran he ran too quickly now too is giving extra information about quickly which is also an adverb if there is one adverb and this word is giving extra information of that adverb that is also an adverb don't really worry about this because it has three positions guys they often get confused because i can use here and there so only thing you need to understand if you are trying to give extra information about this verb let that adverb be closer to that if it is you are trying to give information about adjective let it be closer i'll give an example you understand you know what i mean by this look at this guys i'll give some sentences he said look at his funny statement he said that she said that she loved him take this adverb and you position anywhere in the sentence it gives some or other meaning it's not about right or wrong it, it, it see the difference in the meaning okay so look at the difference in the meaning i will take I take only here, only. I don't write this. Only, she said that she loved him. Okay, it means nobody. Only she said, nobody else. Suppose instead of only there i put only like this she only said that she loved him she only said means she didn't mean it that is a meaning changes when i put only here if i take only here and i put here she said only that she loved him she said only that yeah. it means she did not uh speak anything else except this statement she said that only she loved him nobody else okay or not her friend only she not her friend and she only loved him nothing more than that meanings are changing if you please pay attention she loved only him not his friend so guys you can choose the position of this troublesome adverbs depends on the meaning you want to convey now examiner wants to see do you know the right position now he may ask you like this check it out i'll give one sentence you tell me what's the problem with that how to remember this i only have 
rupees 500. What's the problem with this? Does it logically convey the meaning? I only have rupees 500. It means nobody else. I only have. So this position is wrong. I have only rupees 500. Okay, now look at this one. He fell nearly down. He fell nearly down. What's the problem with that? Okay, he almost drove 200 kilometers. What's the problem with this? You know, illogical. He fell nearly down. If somebody falls down, they have to fall down. I can't say nearly down. So I take this nearly and put here. He nearly fell down. And he almost drove 200 kilometers. He drove almost 200. You can't say he almost drove means there's no sense in that. So approximately. So this is you have to remember these are troublesome adverbs. These are definitely going to be tested. Next. Yes, look at this. I'll give two sentences. This, this rose smells sweet or sweetly hmm? she sang songs sweet or sweetly can somebody Give me the answer. I have given two options. The rose smells this one or this one. She sings this one, this one. To try guys someone should I, the rose smell sweet or sweetly okay i'll come back to this if a word is giving extra information about yeah i got an answer from your side happy first one is sweetly the rose smells sweetly or sweet? You know, you said sweetly. Is it for uh, first one or second one? Somebody said sweetly for which one, ma? Is it the answer is for the rose or uh, songs? You mentioned that. Okay, look at this. If this word is giving extra information about verb, that is adverb, okay? Yeah. First one you said sweetly. Second one? Second one? What about second one? She sang, she sang songs sweet or sweetly. The rose, look at this. The rose smells how. She sang songs how. But if you ask me the answer, 
this this rose smells sweet not sweetly she sang songs sweetly sweetly okay why not oh. okay oh, right right somebody gave me the correct answer right why difference why difference if you don't understand ask me for that you need to know some background okay see here you need to know the verbs here verbs here have two different uh, things look at this we call them sense verbs these are all actions but done by our senses with our five senses and other actions which are not done by our senses in other words sense verbs which are done automatically like see hear okay um appear taste smell one common error please pay attention smell see the common point running through these actions these are involuntary actions we don't do it it happens you know see here appear taste smell um okay the rule is if i have to describe these actions i use adjectives okay now what do i mean by sense of let me check again there is another confusion here look at these two sentences suppose you are cooking something you are taking something whatever you are cooking in a spoon and put it on your tongue now what are you doing you you are tasting it i am using ing form because it is voluntary action now suppose somebody comes to you and gives a piece of cake saying that it's his birthday and you put it in your mouth and the cake okay taste good okay this is involuntary action if you want to describe involuntary action you always use adjective that is a rule okay now look at this you might have used this and heard this statement think positive or think positively give me the answer guys think positive or think positively you generally say think positive because this is also involuntary action think positive okay now look at this he looks good or what is a adverb form of good that is another thing well well is adverb good is adjective should i say he looks good or he looks well it appears now oh, i'll give one more it appears beautiful or beautifully it appears beautiful or beautifully now he dances uh graceful or gracefully now i'll see which one is voluntary which one is involuntary action he looks good because it is not in our control okay 
it appears beautiful or beautifully in appearance also not in somebody's control so it takes beautiful cake tastes good it is not in my control you are tasting it it means you have full control now he dances voluntarily gracefully so that's the reason your smell is also involuntary so that's the reason sweet and singing is somebody's in you know, a voluntary action so sweetly you have to remember this like this once you can recognize this clauses phrases and parts of speech then we talk about common errors like this these are the common mistakes we do okay so we have some more uh, on this uh, modify I mean extra information stuff that we'll see in the next class guys okay yeah let's stop it here thank you all